Hello and welcome to Apuntes de Español. In today's video, we are going to study the gender in the nouns, el género en los sustantivos. To follow the lesson, please download the file, the worksheet that we have in the description. And while you are at it, please subscribe. So let's get to it. The gender in the nouns in Spanish words have gender. This means they can be masculine or feminine, but it's not about whether they are boy or girl, but how the word sounds and is written. The general rule is that words ending in an O are usually masculine, and the words ending in A are usually feminine, as we can see in these examples. Niño, niña, boy or girl, gato or gata, cat, male or gata, female cat. There are some exceptions to that rule. For instance, there are some words that end in O but are feminine. Words as, for example, mano. Even though it ends in O, it's a feminine word. As a linguistic detail, we can understand that the word mano comes from the Latin manus, which was feminine. Despite the evolution of the language, the word retained its original gender. Another exception is the word photo or the word motorcycle, which is actually an abbreviation of motocicleta, which is feminine. Just like photo, moto retains the gender of the full word motocicleta, or fotografía, in the case of the photo. There are other words that end in A, but are masculine. There are not that many, but they are the words as, for example, day, dia. Even though it ends in an A, it's a masculine word. The comes from the Latin dies, which was masculine. Although many Latin words ending in es changed to a in Spanish, dia retained its original gender. Map, for instance, is masculine as well. Or the word sofa, it's masculine. The word drama, another word that is masculine is called el drama. As a tip, we can know that the reasons behind the gender of words in Spanish often have historical and etymological roots. Knowing a bit of the language history can help understand this exception. Gender is an essential grammatical feature in Spanish that affects agreement and word formation. Names ending in ante and ista do not change in masculine and feminine. For example, the words cantante or turista. Some names form the feminine with other endings, as for instance, the word actor. The word actor ends in or, and to form the feminine, the or is replaced with riz, actor, actriz. Another word is alcalde or alcaldesa, emperador, goes to emperatriz. The word conde goes to condesa. So the word conde ends in de, and to form the feminine, the de is replaced with desa. Or príncipe, princesa. These changes in endings to form the feminine are an interesting feature of Spanish and reflect the rich evolution and adaptation of the language over time. It's important to note that not all word ending in or, de, dor have a feminine equivalent that follows these rules, but many that refer to professions, roles, or titles do. Names ending in E or a consonant can be either masculine or feminine. Examples, the restaurant, el restaurante, the car, el coche, the cinema, el cine. Many words ending in E can be both masculine and feminine without changing their form. It's the context or the articles with which they are used that indicates their gender. As an example, the word student can be the male student, el estudiante, or the female student in la estudiante. Consistencia in profesiones y roles. Consistency in professions and roles. In many cases, professions and roles ending in E maintain the same form for both genders, facilitating a more neutral or inclusive language. Example, joven can be, say, can be el joven or la joven. So we have some exceptions. Words that end in E that are clearly masculine or feminine, as for instance, padre, which always is masculine, or the word madre, which is always feminine. 
another case of a study when it comes to gender are the palabras importadas, the imported words. Many words imported from other languages that end in E are assumed to be masculine in Spanish, although there are exceptions. Examples, hotel, internet. It's important that the adjectives accompanying these words agree in gender and number, while the word itself doesn't change the adjectives too. For instance, el estudiante inteligente versus la estudiante inteligente. To form the plural, most words that end in E form the plural by adding S, like cliente goes to clientes. In summary, words that end in E in Spanish can be masculine, feminine, or both, depending on the context and the specific word. It's essential to pay attention to the context and the articles and adjectives that accompany them to determine their gender. Another case of a study is the names of the animals. The name of the animals in Spanish, uh, they are only masculine, these examples, the fish, the bird, the mouse, el pez, el pájaro, el ratón. And they are only feminines, la jirafa, la serpiente, and la rana. Some have both a masculine and feminine form, as el gato, or la gata, or el perro, la perra, el león, la leona. For the days of the week and compound names in Spanish, we are going to know them as masculine. So, el lunes, el martes, los miércoles, el paraguas, el cumpleaños. Let's talk now about el uso en lenguaje inclusivo. It's used in inclusive language. Recently, there has been a debate about the inclusion of a neutral gender in Spanish to address gender identity issues and to avoid using the masculine form as generic. Some proposals include using E, X, or the at at the end of the words. For example, amigos, amigas, which is read as the at, or amigux, or amigues. The debate on neutral gender in Spanish is not only linguistic, but also social, cultural, and political, as it relates to issues of equality, rights, and recognitions of various gender identities. In summary, Neutral gender is not a traditional grammatical category in Spanish, but its discussion has become significant in the contemporary context due to issues of inclusivity and recognition of diversities. And I have some practice for you if you want to try. Uh, I'm going to propose you those exercises that you can find in the worksheet. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and give us a like to help us grow. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.